check class, you should have three set of notes. Let's take the note. Okay, make sure you have a three set of notes. One note is a meditation for beginner. Okay. Then second note is the guide for meditation. Okay. And the third note is the five wonderful precepts. Do you get three of them? Please probe your hand, you get three of them. Okay, make sure you get three of them. Okay, all get. Kamling, you didn't get the notes. Ah, yeah, you have to grab your hand. Okay, huh? yeah, okay. Then, uh, ratio, you don't print it out. You don't print it out. In the handphone, no. no. Class, basically, uh, you have to do some high line and you have to write something on the notes. Okay, so uh, prepare, a, I mean, a pen and also a, a, a highlighter. Okay, you have to. Uh, please ready with a highlighter and also a pen. Okay, huh? you have to write something on it. Okay, huh? yeah, Sun Choi, yes. Okay. Yeah, not yet, not yet. Mm. You are, are you printing now? No, no, I, I, I put it in my office. I didn't bring it back. So I have to look at the, my computer. Oh, then it doesn't matter. Okay, so next time. Uh, okay, so yeah. I have to start the class already. Uh, okay, uh, so next okay. time, uh, remember you have okay. to write okay. something. Okay, uh, okay let, uh, let's okay, let have a look. Okay, let's take a look uh, to the, this set of notes. Meditation for beginner. Is this the notes uh, uh, which, uh, which, uh, which is accepted by you? Received by you, right? Yes. Exactly the same, right? Yes, yes. Yes, okay. So let's take a look. We go through the introduction. We talk about the learning attitude, okay? Then the second uh, is about the benefit of meditation. Okay, we'll go through a video clip. Then the third one, we talk about the condition, all right? So let's take a look. In the condition, you see that it's about self-restraint, uh, 3.2, the adequacy of the requisite. This is about your job. 3 by 3.3 is living in leisure and a quiet place. Okay, you need a place. 3.4 is a swap out of courses and businesses. Okay, uh, meaning to say that if you join the meditation class, uh, especially uh, this is for, uh, if you join one day retreat, three day retreat or seven day retreat, you need a very quiet places. Okay, then second, you have to stop your occupation. All right. And then the third one, you need a teacher and you need some colleague to help you each other. So this is all the external causes, okay? So that external factor, which is conducive uh, uh, for meditation. So after talking about, uh, af uh, after we finish all the external causes, now we go to the internal causes, is number four, condemn desires and abandon hindrances. So this is everything about yourself, okay? Uh, because uh, once you cannot meditate well, there must be some reason behind. This is the internal cost, it's a psychology problem. We will try to go through it. Okay, so uh, after we finish uh, the internal cost, okay, then we'll go to the practice. Okay. So in practice, we'll do the samatha and vipassana. Then we'll be the meditation by sitting and meditation and meditate in daily life. Okay. Uh, basically, the, the major posture for the meditation is sitting. That is the major poster. Uh, but we'll tell you how to meditate on standing and also in the daily life. Uh, we'll tell you all this. Uh, and you will do samatha and vipassana at the same time. But basically, samatha is the main, uh, main, uh, is the main method. Uh, this, uh, 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 the samatha is, uh, the method we are using uh, for the samatha is anapanasati, uh, mindfulness to the breathing. Uh, there, uh, there's totally five steps. Okay. Today, you are going to learn the first step and the second step. The third, fourth, and fifth step will be coming at the future. Okay, uh, uh, why? Because uh, uh, if, if, let's say, we learn the methods, uh, you, you have to wait for so long in order to learn the method, maybe you will, you will just drop off the course already. Huh? It, it seems like you go to join the swimming class. Uh, huh? So after 10 lessons, you haven't start jump into the water, huh? <laughs> jump into the pool, huh? uh, then you will feel fed up already. So in the first lesson, you let you, I will try to push you down to the swimming pool and let you taste drinking the water. <laughs> so it's, it's just in the first lesson. Okay. Then next, let's take a look. Huh? 
So after that, we'll go to the number six, is the development of a favorable consciousness. What does that mean? It's about that. Uh, well, some people, uh, they have a very good uh, foundation uh, uh, to do the meditation. The foundation uh, doesn't mean for this life, probably it's from the future life, it's from the past life. Once they meditate, immediately there will be some very good, they will be very responsive to the matter and will experience some changes physically and mentally. We have to tell you now. The reason is uh, once you start to meditate, if let's say things happen to you, since uh, you got the knowledge, you won't get frightened. Okay, you won't get frightened. Because uh, even though uh, uh, have a good, I mean, uh, even though uh, maybe the past life or you have a very good prayer experience, but the experience uh, doesn't really make sense for you if you are not ready. Uh, it's just like uh, uh, maybe, maybe a children, okay, you, uh, I mean, uh, uh, he, he got lucky strike, he got billion, million dollars, but it, it might not be a, a, a really fortune of, of, of for a children. Uh. It could be a burden, you see, oh, or maybe a children. Uh, maybe, uh, 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 maybe the children uh, okay uh, uh, get a fame uh, uh, I mean become very famous uh, in the child in the childhood but it it could be a burden uh, uh, for the children uh, for the child you see assuming to say that uh, the things uh, I mean uh, is ready for you I, I mean I think it's good for you when you are ready for it so uh, what what you try to learn is you try to learn more knowledge uh, so that you'll be ready uh, uh, once a thing happens to you huh? Uh, once you experience some change, a tremendous change physically and mentally. Next, we'll go to his number uh, seven is to cure the sickness. Uh, yes, we're going to cure the sickness uh, uh, before, uh, uh, five, uh, I mean, uh, in the last lesson, you learned how to cure the sickness. But uh, before this, Take a look, 6.3, they will be distinguished the real and the false. Uh -huh. And between here, we will talk about one issue, it's about the adverse effect uh, for the meditation. In Mandarin, uh, we call it a zao fo ya mo. Uh, shall I know who is a bilingual here? Put up your hand. You can speak both Mandarin and English. One, two, three, four. Oh, 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 oh. why you come to English class but didn't come to the Chinese class? <laughs> my Chinese is, my Mandarin is better than English very much. <laughs> you all come here. Huh? Okay, never mind. Uh, you can help me in translation. Huh? Okay, huh? Uh, the mina meaning of Zhou Fo Yak Mo is uh, back, uh, basically uh, there's three type people they are incompatible to learn the meditation, especially for the long term. Uh, sit for the long hour. Huh? Three type of people. One is a uh, Schizophrenia, the one uh, who ex uh, who affect who affect the schizophrenia, meaning to say that you always experience a hallucination. Basically, it's an auditory hallucination that people always talk to you. Uh, it seems that people want to uh, how to say uh, uh, Yeah, so try how do you translate how uh, 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 English? How do you translate? Yeah, ratio. Yes, tell me. Ah. Want to take your, want to take your wealth and kill you. So simple. Take your wealth. That's all. Oh, no better word. Mm. <laughs> Anyone can help me? Rachel, Amanda, Mo Chai Hai Ming. Mo Chai Hai Ming. Oh, I don't know how to translate already. Mm. <laughs> no, my, we need to say maybe steal with your. Plot, huh? uh, yeah, maybe with the plot under a plot. Steal your money under a plot. Uh, basically, the person plot. who have undergone the schizophrenia. Yeah. They used to have this type of feeling. People uh, by use the plotting, uh, they stab, they stab, uh, they stab attached with somebody to get your money. Uh, basically, you have this type of schizophrenia. Then second is about the depression, especially the very serious one. You you you, you cannot join for the long term meditation too, because the depression will create the hallucination for you and and always bear in mind that don't don't be naive that uh, if you got the problem, uh, you can't meditate. You can't meditate and then you recover. It is not right. You have to go through the doctor medication because of both of these sickness uh, means some uh, something like it in your brain, especially for depression. You lack of a serotonin. You need to take the medication to supplement to how to say uh, uh, to uh, to supply uh, the serotonin for your brain. Then you have a proper you can properly. Okay, so do you get it? Uh, so these two sickness you have to go to see the doctor. All right, uh, if you join. Uh, if you wish to join and, and try the long-term meditation, you have to make sure that you're under medication and in a stable condition. So meditation just a, just a supplement only. It's not a, 
a major remedy for you. Okay. So the third one uh, is for those uh, who experienced a trance before. Uh, not everybody, but for certain type of people, their body are very sensitive. You need to say that they are able to feel the being. Ah, or maybe in the more, more straightforward, uh, you are able to see the ghost. Ah, so this type of people, you have to let me know. Huh? Because uh, once you are sensitive to this, you need to say that you might be one, vulnerable to them. Uh, they may occupy you and possess you. Once you do the meditation, whatever meditative method, you are also vulnerable to them. Okay, so that is the three type of people. Uh, they are prohibited from joining the meditation course. If let's say you are one of them, please come to me. Okay, come to me. We have to check for you whether how suitable you are, or maybe you can join provided with certain condition. Okay, so anybody wish to? So should I know? Uh, is there anybody can see ghosts here? Can you put up your hand? You can't see the ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm oh, so lucky. It's very good uh, because I especially learned learning the qigong. You know, uh, if you're able to see the ghosts, I uh, meaning to say that they can. Uh, and but of course, the sensitivity they got the level the sensitivity. The highest level is a grade five. Uh, then uh, maybe the ghost can occupy you. Uh, level five is the one who can communicate with all this type of being. They can feel the energy. They even can can feel. Uh, some of them might be vulnerable uh, to the radioactive of the telephone. They can as sensitive as this level, uh, so we anyway we can we have a method to help you huh, so that uh, you can maintain your sensitive sensitivity, but at the same time you won't be vulnerable to it. Okay, you get it? Okay, huh? so that is uh, something I want. Uh, I have to give you the warning in the first place. Uh, okay, huh? uh, of course. Uh, um, now we just go through the theory class. They will be fine. Okay. Uh, later on, once you come to. Uh, you, you, you will come and sit uh, longer and longer, uh, then have to be careful with it. Okay. So uh, after this, now let's take a look. So we go to the references. Okay. Uh, uh, sorry, number eight is the fruit attainment. Uh, basically, fruit attainment is for the long term purpose. Okay. Uh, well, uh, most of you come for stress reduction. Uh, meditation really can help you. But basically, all this benefit uh, we, uh, you is considered side effect of the meditation only. It seems that you come for a jewelry shop, but you buy the box instead to buy the jewelry. The long term, I mean, the first attainment uh, is the real jewelry. Uh, a real jewelry. And uh, what are you looking for? Stress reduction. It's just like a box only. Uh, but basically, the box is very attractive for most of the people. So you come for the box in the beginning. Later on, I will try uh, to introduce you how uh, so you can aim for further and aim for higher. So that is something uh, uh, you have to take note. Then lastly is about the references. Let's take a look, the references. References, uh, maybe for you, is nothing, okay, because uh, uh, you don't know anything, okay. But if you learn the method before, references is very important to show you that how authentic, uh, what tradition you are learning from, you are learning from. Because uh, sometimes uh, it is good uh, to have a broad study, in the beginning, but sometimes the broad study also means that confusing also. So you don't know which one method actually really suit you, and maybe you end up you end up everything together. You 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 can mix up together, and you may mess up the thing together also. So the references show that what tradition you are learning from, and later on, if you want to proceed, basically you have to choose the tradition. Uh, if let's say, uh, as uh, I mean, this tradition is very responsive to you, the method. You better keep on. Uh, if you just keep on change, uh, if you keep on changing, uh, uh, once you are in the stages to to go deep, uh, finally, uh, it's just like a rolling stone never grow moss. You get it? Mm. And sometimes, once you discuss discuss with people, people will ask for uh, where do you learn from. You can tell people, oh, this is my reference. I got the reference uh, based on the original text of the Buddhism. Uh, then you then then I mean uh, you will you will you will have more confidence throughout the process. Get it? Okay, oh. so that is the whole condensed about today classes. Anything? Any question? The condensed today. So no question, huh? So no no question. We just keep on, huh? If you have any question, you can just raise your hand. Uh, just let me know, huh? Uh, well, class, you can just I mean, uh, raise your hand through Zoom. Can you try now? Raise your hand by Zoom. Now I'm able. Oh, no, no, no. 
Now it's by using your hand, but I mean by using Zoom to raise your hand. So, where do we click? Yes, uh, let's see. Huh? I think also in the, in the top right corner, right? The dot dot dot, they got the raised hand, right? Let me see how. Huh? Okay, the raised hand, let's see how. Huh? Mm, I think maybe your function. Uh, do you see the reaction? The last line, the last step, uh, how you see the reaction? Well, in the reaction, uh, uh, they got the raised the hand, I think. Ah, uh, yes, Asun Choi. Reaction, oh, reaction. Below, yes. below. Uh, below, yes. So, our uh, screen. Uh, Sun Choi, I think you are correct. You raised the hand the correct way. Uh, Sun Choi, yeah. tell everybody where do you, you where, where do you have this symbol? The, the, below our left, left hand side. Uh, right hand side. Uh, right hand side, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, right hand side. Okay, uh, class, I think I prefer the Sun Choi logo uh, rather than Yong Sin. Huh? Because uh, Sun uh, uh, Def, uh, Def V, you, you raise hand correctly. Because uh, once you raise the hand with the blue color, they will show two two participants raise hand, three participants raise hand, so that I know, I can uh, roughly, uh, immediately I know how many people uh, can, uh, got it already. The rest, please try raise hand. So that me, Sun Choi, you got it correct already. Okay. Sun Choi, you tell people again, no, I mean, not, not this logo. Huh? Uh, try, uh, uh, Sun Choi, tell everybody again, uh, where do you get the logo? Just uh, Right hand side below. Uh, right hand side, right. no. Uh, no. Right hand side. Please go you right. Touch, you touch the screen first, then you, the dot 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 will come up. Ah yeah. Okay. Ah near correct. Right. Okay, huh? Yeah. Soon try you touch the screen at the top, ah, you can change your hand. Ah yes, oh. correct. Okay. How about the rest? Rich. Okay. Uh. Dot dot dot. Then check. Amanda, you haven't get it yet. Kamling, you haven't get it yet. No. No, um, using the laptop version, it only has the uh, claps and the thumbs. It doesn't have the raised hand. You don't have a raised hand. Uh, oh. Correct. Uh, Sifu, correct. Because uh, using handphone versions and also some of the uh, um, tape, tape version you have. Uh, yeah, maybe iPhone uh, or uh, the tablet different now. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. It, okay, at least uh, you must be able to raise your hand first. Yeah, it let, you raise your hand by Zoom. Are you able let, Laptop only... Only two reactions. Never mind. You, you try to raise. I think you can. If, if you go, there's like participants, and if you click participants in the laptop version, participant. Like, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Raise hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. At the Z. Uh, yeah. Raise oh, hand. Got it. Uh, oh, Amanda, you got it already. Uh, I saw. Yeah, yeah God. Uh, or the okay. uh, participant oh, there. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody got it. Ratio got it already. Yes. Okay, Yong Sin, you haven't got it, right? Uh, everybody got it. You see, four participants raise hand. Uh, that is the function I want. Okay. So get it. Okay. 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 Uh, everybody got uh, Yong Sin. Got it already. Okay. So uh, we uh, we know how to communicate now. All right. Go so ahead. Go to the next. Head. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, huh? uh, Once you raise hand, uh, raise up the hand. You also can raise down your hand. Please try to yeah. raise hand logo. Go ahead. Down when you lower the hand away, so you get it, okay? Huh? Yes, okay. So, so we get the function away. So, now class, and now we will go to this section. Uh -huh. Let's take a look. Okay, so class. Hello. Let me go to the introduction now. Okay, introduction. Uh, one point one is the learning attitude. Okay, uh, copy down uh, the remarks in red. Just see now. I'm fast to pour water. I can see the thing. Once you finish copy, uh, please uh, raise your hand by Zoom, okay? Oh. Oh, some people is typing, oh. they're very smart. Oh. Deaf me is typing already. <laughs> so no need to copy, oh. okay? Oh.
Yeah, Sun Chuan, how do you make it? How come you are the fastest ones uh, to finish copying the, the remarks? Oh, you Ask. want me to copy? Uh? I thought you want to get the what? Guide for meditation. No one? Uh? No, no, no. Do you see in the screen the remark on the red color? You have to copy down your notes, you know. Okay. Okay, yes. No wonder you raise hands so soon. Okay. No, la. that's why I thought you want this. Okay, never mind. For those who haven't finished, you, you just continue copy. So, Amanda, can you please read, read it out? Okay, huh? um, Like a vase to hold water, like a seed to be planted in the ground, one should avoid the three mistakes by listening attentively, thoughtfully, and mindfully. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Now my Sun Choi, I will just cut and paste to you later on. I want to explain now already. Huh? Okay, let's take a look. Uh, this is so important. We talk about the learning attitude in the beginning. Huh? Let's take a look. So this is a cup, okay? Huh? Uh, basically, the learning attitude, uh, we prefer use the cup as an analogy, okay? Huh? Uh, basically, first of all, please try to avoid three defects from the cup. First is the broken cup. If let's say the cup is broken, uh, wherever the water we fill in, uh, it could it contain the water. You need to say that if let's say you are mindless, you are very tired, and yet you still come for the class, Basically, you can't remember what are you learning. So make sure that before the class, have a good rest. Okay, so this is the first thing very important. Let's say your mind cannot concentrate well. Later on, we will, uh, we will share you, I will teach you uh, how to do the caustic and then to let you become more attentive. So this is the first thing. Second is about, please avoid the cup uh, over full. If let's say the cup is already full of the water, I cannot fill in the water anymore. You need to say that it will come. Uh, whatever you learned previously, you have to empty it. Plus, if you, if you come up with a cup full of the water, I can't put any more water inside the cup anymore, except you empty your cup in the beginning. So you get it? Uh, so please come with an empty cup, but not a filling cup, not, not with a full cup of water. Overflow. Ah, uh, yes, they will be flow out. Okay. Then what I, wherever I, I, I want to tell you, cannot go into the cup anymore. So second is the mistake. Please try to avoid. All right. And the third one, uh, avoid the cup. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, avoid. I how to how to touch on free lah. If let's say uh, they, uh, there's some toxin in the cup, whatever water I pour in, finally the toxin contaminate the water. So meaning to say that you shouldn't have any prejudice before you come to the class. And you must be have a positive mind, okay? If let's say you come here, you don't have, you, if you're not ready for learn, you come just finding the fault, finding the fault to the lectures, from the lecture, maybe finding the fault from me, finally you won't learn anything. Ah, in order to learn the thing, you have, you must have the confidence to me. You must have, have the confidence to me. How to build the confidence? Maybe some are introduced to you. You have to get the confidence from, for those who introduce you. And maybe you can go to Google huh, my uh, resume, my a little bit background, uh, so that okay, you know what you learn. You, you, you learn from a proper people, and the method is a proper. Uh, if you don't have the confidence in the beginning, uh, that's the wasting your time. You, know? you get it? So there is a very important attitude in the beginning. So uh, this is a what uh, from our lesson. Huh? Let's take a look. Uh, you see? Uh, okay. So the best to hold water is will be enough. Huh? So I don't talk about the seat. Okay. So listen attentively, thoughtfully, and mindfully. Yeah, so that is the meaning uh, for this. 
Now we go to the second, we talk about the benefit of the meditation, okay? So class, we will go through a video clip, okay? Uh, and then uh, uh, from the video clip, please uh, try to, I mean, uh, watch it and enjoy it, okay? So now, uh, let me, uh, I, want to, I want to play the video clip now. Yeah, class, can you answer me? Are you able to see the video clip now? Yes, yes. Okay, yeah, enjoy it now. Yes. Note, a high-flying businesswoman has many of the traits of what's known as a type A personality. Absolute workaholic, a problem fixer, somebody who believed that there was always a way of doing things, a real sort of can-do attitude, maybe a bit impatient as well. Type A personalities are perfectionists, impatient, ambitious, fast talkers, can't switch off. They're also more susceptible to stress. And one of the best places to study them is in the Serengeti in Africa. Incredibly, baboons face many of the same social pressures that we do. For the past 25 years, Robert Sapolsky has been studying stress in baboons. So you want to understand why some humans get stress-related diseases, others don't? Go look at a baboon out in the Serengeti. They've got nine hours of free time every day to devote to just generating miserable psychological stress for each other. They're just like us in our westernized lifestyles. By measuring the levels of hormones in male baboons, Sapolsky has shown that stress-related illnesses, such as heart disease, are dependent on personality. So what counts as a disaster of a baboon when it comes to stress management? I had this guy a few years ago. His name was Nick. He was the epitome of what type A is about. His worst rival shows up on the field and takes a nap 100 yards away. This is an outrage. incredibly high stress levels. As a result, he suffered from high blood pressure, a depressed immune system, had dangerously high cholesterol levels, and died young. In contrast, I had this other guy named Joshua, who was one of my all-time favorites, and this guy just was this zen baboon. What he mostly spent his time doing, as far as I could tell, was walking away from fights that your average male baboon would wind up in the middle of, and instead grooming with females and playing with kids. Joshua had the lowest levels of stress hormones in the group. His health was good, he bore more children, and he outlived his rivals by years. Personality has a lot to do with how stress affects you. But if you're a type A personality like Jude, does that mean you're stuck with it forever? Absolutely not. Lots of studies showing with a lot of work, you can change type A profiles and you change the physiology as well. It doesn't come easy. In fact, it requires a discipline that has long been known in the East. Jude is dealing with her stress. Twice a day, she takes 20 minutes out to meditate. Using a method called transcendental meditation, she repeats a word in her head and tries to free her mind of thought. Sometimes you're completely free of thoughts. Other times you will get thoughts that will come through your head. You just let the thoughts come and go. The stillness and the peace actually comes again. So by the end of your 20 minutes, you just feel good, you feel refreshed. Within six months of meditating, Jude saw a big difference in her blood pressure. 
for the first time in ages, it was um, it was normal. I mean, you know, well normal, probably more normal than it's ever been. So what is it about meditation that allows Jude to control her stress response? Dr. Herbert Benson has spent 30 years traveling the globe, studying the world's most accomplished meditators. Using modern technology, Benson is trying to understand how meditation appears to reverse the body's natural stress response. What we are finding is that for centuries upon centuries, people had discovered that there's something they could do to counteract the harmful effects of stress. Benson named it the relaxation response. It's the body's innate ability to lower blood pressure, reduce heart rate, and slow breathing. We are fortunate that we have within us a response opposite to the fight or flight response. That is the relaxation response. And there are scores of techniques. But in all of them, two steps are needed. The first is a repetition, a word, a sound, a movement. The second is freeing your mind of thought by concentrating on that repetition. and everyone can do it. The relaxation response can be triggered by all kinds of activity. From the repetition of a prayer to the primal beat of dancing. Even the rhythm of exercise can reverse the harmful effects of stress. So how does it work? At an MRI facility in Boston, Herbert Benson's colleague, Sarah Lazar, is looking inside the brain for an answer. Her subject is a Tai Chi master, Ramel Rones. He has over 20 years of meditation experience. Ramel has been fitted with equipment to monitor his body temperature and breathing. Now we're going out. We're going to do the meditation scan now. So you're going to lie there quietly for a few minutes, and then you're going to begin the meditation. As Ramel begins his meditation, the MRI scanner takes a series of snapshots inside his brain. Over the next 10 minutes, Ramel will try to empty his mind of thought. What I was trying to do is focus on my breath slowly because the breath is nothingness, it's empty, it's a vacuum. And by doing that, you try to empty your mind from any worries and thoughts and hopefully reach a, a, a deep level of relaxation. As Ramel meditates, his breathing slows to four breaths a minute and his body temperature drops. Inside his brain, activity also slows down but incredibly, the MRI scan reveals that certain areas have become more active. The red spots show activity. As well as controlling our heart and breathing rate, these are the parts of the brain that control alertness, decision-making, and emotion. It suggests that in a state of meditation, the mind is not only more alert, but that we are able to control our emotional response to stressful situations. If such simple steps, a repetition and the disregard of everyday thoughts could bring about such profound physiologic changes, what would happen in more advanced people who practice meditation? In 1981, during a research trip to India, Benson witnessed one of the most astonishing feats of mind over body. It's called Tumo Yoga. In the freezing temperatures of the Tibetan mountains, Buddhist monks have learned to use their minds to increase their body temperature. Within five minutes of wrapping themselves in icy wet sheets, they can raise their temperature so much that the sheets start to steam. 
you and I would go into uncontrollable shivering if we wrapped ourselves in a wet sheet in 40 degree weather. These people were able to do just the opposite through this mind-body advanced meditative technique of Tumo Yoga. In less than an hour, the sheets are bone dry. It shows the profundity of what people can do through this type of mind-body advanced meditative technique. Jude Meadows is part of a growing band of people using these ancient techniques to deal with the demands of the modern world. For three years, she has been meditating daily to promote the relaxation response and reduce her stress levels. Learning Transcendental Meditation is the most significant thing I've ever done in my life. It's made a huge difference to me on a health basis. I feel different and um, I've seen a difference in the way in which I work. You have that much more focus and clarity. You could achieve the same results but with less effort. I stopped working weekends and evenings and started to get a bit of a life. So for me it's the best thing I've ever done. In a world where stress can pursue us like a predator, managing its harmful effects is critical to safeguarding our mental and physical health. Yeah, we applause uh, to the production of the video clip. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay, uh, well, uh, 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 maybe I want uh, some of you just roughly tell me uh, what did you learn from the video clip? Okay, uh, yes, um, ratio. You start first. So the meditations and the results in the mentals and the spirit um, is, I think, scientific, scientifically proved in a way that they can measure, you know, uh, from the uh, from the data. It shows that uh, the minds and the uh, it works, you know. The, how peaceful or how mindful it is the person is in the meditations. So it is um, scientifically proven. Okay, that's all. Okay, so uh, Shun Choi, uh, can you please add in some more which is uh, not mentioned by uh, Shun Choi, please. Yeah, that's the, the most important thing is that it is proven that it is good for your health. That's why I think we have to practice all this. Okay. From me. That's all. So, okay, how about uh, Deaf Me? Can you mention something which is not mentioned by both of them? I, basically the same thing. Basically, they use MRIs and they, um, they did all these studies and it shows the impact of meditation and how powerful our mind can be uh, with the mind-body connection. Yeah. Why don't you all mention about the monkey? Huh? <laughs> right? Because the story, everything be with the monkey is correct. Uh, because there's a two type of monkey. Uh. One monkey is very dominant, uh, very oppressive. Uh. And one type of monkey uh, is very mild. Okay, uh. So the, uh, according to the elaborator, he said, that, oh, I prefer the monkey, which is very mild. Because uh, he is like a Zen master. He prefer, I mean, I uh, take care of the people and prove that he can enjoy a longer life. Is this correct? <laughs> but the monkey who prefer fighting, uh, usually incur the fighting one, uh, he said basically the, the life is not that long. Uh, because he always host, he show hostility, uh, uh, hostility, uh, I mean, uh, uh, to the external, uh, basically. Uh. So we need to say that meditation is try to curb the problem within our heart. And if you remember that, uh, uh, he said in order to overcome the problem, basically the method is so simple, something is repetitive. Uh, like chanting the mantra, like the qigong, is something which is just keep on a repetitive for me. It's so simple, okay. Huh? And then it goes to the what you talk about, okay. Uh, some uh, uh, something happened in the high mountain, right, Amanda? Mm. Can you mention about what is relates to the high mountain? So we uh, the the tumor yoga that they practice, 
And it's very powerful that they can actually, um, by meditating, and then they can actually uh, increase their body temperature to against the very cool um, uh, weather. Okay. So Amanda, what do you wish for it? So by meditation, so when yeah. you go to the snowy mountain, you don't get frightened. Mm, you just wear ordinary. <laughs> do you aim for that? <laughs> not really. Like, how, okay, how, uh, what for? Uh, you just bring a blanket. Like, how, uh, <laughs> meditate, not just to get a hit. Okay. But uh, just as extra knowledge, how you will notice, oh, so powerful the thing. How? But of course, that's a tumor yoga, a different method. Uh, 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 you watch, we learn now. Huh? So, uh, Kamling, anything you, you wish to addition? Uh, once we finish talking about the, the mountain, okay, then uh, what else is from the video clip? Uh, about the same, no. Uh, I mean, with meditation long term, it, it does uh, bring us to be become uh, a better person and also to, I mean, this, this world is so uh, busy. We are a very busy person. Uh, we, we are always doing multitasking. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I want the Judah uh, huh? because uh, the figure is the Judah. Judah, I mean, he always he experienced the pressure, all right. So, uh, once he meditated, he found that like, his blood pressure is well normal. Okay, so that's the thing uh, for the video. So, shall I know? Are you so, after the video, watching the video clip, are you so eager to learn the method now? Yes, can you please raise your hand? Uh, are you so eager to learn? Uh, yeah, good. Okay, so by having a strong intention, we begin now the method. Okay. So class, let's take a look. Okay, now we will go through this. Okay. Okay, now we go to the guide for the meditation. Okay, so basically today, I will guide you all the method of meditation to the guide for meditation. Everything is available in guide for meditation. Okay. Uh, but in uh, but uh, uh, we won't go through. I mean, uh, words by words. But I will just go. Through, we will go through it in next lesson. So today, basically, I let you get the method. All right. If you have any question, you can go back to the guide for meditation. Everything is available in the guide for meditation. So let's take a look. Okay. Now, once you start with the guide meditation, guide meditation is from the condense is number five. Okay. Uh, it is number five. We begin with the meditating by sitting. And first, we begin with the body adjustment. Number one is the hip exercise. Yes, how do we do the hip exercise? Class, basically, once we do the hip exercise, the purpose is to avoid, I mean, to, to avoid, I mean, the blood, too much blood flow to the brain. If uh, the, the less of the flow of the blood, the less wandering mind you will experience. Okay. So uh, what sh how should we do? You can put, both of hand on your on your knee. All right. So we start now. Okay. Let me show you in the first time. Then you can just follow. Okay. Huh? So the first one, you try to tilt your head. Okay. To one side. Okay. When you tilt like this, you will feel some stretchings in your knee. Okay. In your shoulder. All right. Okay. Then you just maintain count one to five. One two three, four, five. Then you change the direction uh, to the right, okay? Then you will feel the stretch uh, at, at the left side, at the shoulder. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, second time again. Uh, we our head. One, two, three, four, five. Then change the direction. One, two, three, four, five. Lastly, one, two, three, four, five. Again, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So this is the first. Uh, first. Uh, <laughs> How, how should I pray? Huh? <laughs> uh, this is the first time we turn our direction. This is the, uh, I mean, uh, we got a, how should I pray? Huh? We got a few directions uh, to push your head, <laughs> no, to twist your neck. <laughs> okay, so this is the first, first twisting. Huh? Not the second is like that, you see. Huh? So we will, we have you to twist our head from left to right like this. Okay, uh, when you twist your head here, you will feel the stretches, you will feel the stretch 
at your left neck and also the right shoulder that will be correct. One, two, three, four, five. And then change the direction to another, to the left. Uh, please experience the stretch, the stretches. One, two, three, four, five. Second time, turn your, turn your head to the right. One, two, three, four, five. And change the direction again without moving your whole, the whole body. One, two, three, four, five. Third, one, two, three, four, five. Again, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so uh, the third way to twist your neck, I don't know, your, uh, twist your neck, okay. So we'll push our head up and down, okay. So we push our head up. So uh, without moving the whole body, you feel the, the stretches at the back of your neck that will be correct. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, then down your head, okay, as much as possible, put down your, your head. One, two, three, four, five. Second, push up as much as possible. One, two, three, four, five. Then push down again as much as possible. One, two, three, four, five. Thirdly, one, two, three, four, five. And down again. One, two, three, four, five. Then go back to normal. So now we're going to twist our head. We rotate our, our head 360 degrees. <laughs> okay, uh, it's not terrible actually. Uh, it's very enjoyable. Uh. So uh, we will clockwise and anti-clockwise consider one. Okay. So now just put your head down first and then slowly rotate from right to left. Okay. So pay attention to the rotation, mindful to the rotation, then change the direction. Once you finish the first round, second, rotate again clockwise, then and the clockwise. Thirdly, okay, three times finish. Okay, that is the hip exercise. Okay, please observe your shoulder and your neck. Please observe. If you feel, uh, is, there any, is there anybody feel relaxed and comfortable? Please put up your hand. Anyone feel relaxed? Okay, Sun Choi, Amanda, Rachel, and Devi, and Anya. Okay, so, uh, and also Yong Zin. Let's take a look. If let's say you feel comfortable, uh, there's a possibility that during working, you are under stress. Once we are stressed, uh, once we are under stress, uh, basically we will try to, how to say, how? Uh, you will, you will put some pressure on your shoulder, basically. Okay, huh? so and and to the string, how uh, about string? You will string it, yeah. You will string over your shoulder and without realization, you will realize it once you rest. So, once you rest, you will find that how come my shoulder is so comfortable and so tired. The reason is once we are stressful, you will automatically string your shoulder. So that's why uh, you feel comfortable. For those are uh, maybe maybe tumbling or uh, you don't experience any stress, so you feel nothing. Not much different. Uh, you not do, you don't feel much different. Okay, uh, so one thing you can be tight. Uh, how tight uh, your shoulder is it? Okay. Tight. And secondly, uh, the purpose for this okay can also unlock your. Unlock and also activate your throat chakra. Chakra. Huh? 
Does anyone understand? Uh, have you ever heard about the chakra? Put up your hand. Chakra in yoga. Devi, one, two, three, four. Okay, four people, you have heard about the chakra. Let's take a look. This is the chakra. Huh? Uh, basically, everybody, uh, huh? there will be seven chakra okay. uh, distributed uh, over your whole body. Huh? So this is the chakra, all right. There's one chakra is at, at your throat, okay. Uh, basically, uh, whatever you did just now, you are able to activate the throat chakra, okay. But anyway, in order to attain a good result of the meditation, preferably you activate all the seven chakra, then you can experience a good meditative experience, okay. Then next, let's take a look. So after the heat exercise, we'll go next is about is the massage the entire whole body. Okay. So we're going to massage our whole body just after the meditation. Okay, just follow me. First of all, drop your hand and shake. Okay. Use your thumb to massage your eyelid. Okay. Then wash your face. Wash your head. Your ear, the whole head, neck, then cross your two hands, the shoulder, and, and from here, you keep on wrapping your hand, shake again, okay, put at the abdomen, clockwise five times, anti-clockwise five times. Then clockwise again five times. Then from the tummy, you go to the back. And then you massage your body breath. And then your leg, knee, and the foot. So that is the whole body massage, okay? Basically, the whole body massage uh, will make you feel comfortable after long sitting or meditation. Uh, wrapping uh, at the abdomen is so important. We call it as an ending skill. Huh? Uh, for, for those who are sensitive to the energy, you will feel the flow of the energy throughout the whole body. Basically, the reservoir of the energy is at your abdomen. Once you trigger it out, you must put it back. Well, this is very obvious in Qigong practice. Uh, but for Anapanasati, for the mindful in the breathing, uh, it depends on individual. Okay, uh, If you don't really put back your energy in the reservoir, the energy will just go as it wish. Uh, sometimes it might be create a disturbance for you. Okay, uh, uh, okay. so that is uh, about this. Uh, and next, let's take a look. Uh, so we go to the seventh point of the uh, meditation posture, all right? So the first one is about the sitting posture. You can sit either lotus, half lotus position, and etc. So let's take a look. So now we go to the sitting posture. Okay, huh? so uh, first of all, you can try. Hmm. Let's take a look. Uh, this is the double lotus posture. Okay, huh? Plus, uh, please forget about it. Huh? I think maybe none of you are ready for the double lotus. Huh? Okay, huh? If you try to force yourself, I think you can hear the sound crack. Huh? crack huh? <laughs> You're not ready. Huh? Yeah. Uh, basically, the what for those uh, who are ready for it is, uh, but, but anyway, they still got chances. Huh? After doing the qigong and the yoga, you might be able to do the double lotus. Okay. Anyway, this is uh, one of the facts, you need, not, not the truth. Huh? So there's many conditions to make you can let's take a look. Okay, if let's say double lotus is not our choice, we can opt for the for the half lotus. Half lotus meaning to say that you put one of your leg on the tight. Okay. Yes, you show me now. You know, put one of your leg on the tight. Okay, show me how huh? and push down your camera. Huh? Okay, Amanda is correct. Amanda, can you be high a little bit? You put on the pack. Ah, yes, that's correct. So this is the half lotus, correct? Okay, ratio is correct. Anya also correct, okay? Yongzin is correct also. Ah, looks beautiful also, okay? 
Come link, let me see. Okay. Hand up. Your hand obstructed the camera. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, preferably put up a little bit. Uh, up, up a little bit. Your leg that must be uh. right. Uh, up a little bit. Okay. Huh? Well, definitely doesn't matter. You, you take a look for them. Huh? Uh, then you know whether you be correct. Okay. So this is the first posture. You can look for it. Okay. Now we go to the second posture. Let's take a look. Okay. Second posture is we call it as a, just a leisure posture. Meaning to say you just cross your leg as usual. Like the picture only. Can you try it now? Just cross it. Just cross it. Uh, just cross your leg by touching your leg. It doesn't matter whether you touch your leg or not. Okay, try it. Cross your leg. Uh, yes, ratio is correct. Beautiful ratio. Okay, you cross your leg. You touch your leg to each other. Okay, uh, yeah, Yongzin is correct. Okay. Then Anya is correct. Okay. Then Amanda. Let me say hello. Uh, Amanda. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's correct. All right. Tumbling. Okay. Uh, not, not, uh, not like that. The camera adjustment is not like that. Yeah, difficult to. <laughs> okay, I got it ready. Amanda will be. Tumbling uh, uh, is okay already. Okay. okay. Thank you. So, this is called a leisure posture, which you touch your leg to each other. Plus, please try not touching your leg. Uh, try to roll your leg a little bit so that the leg won't touch to each other. Now, try. This is the third one. Okay. Yeah, ratio is correct. Yeah, without touching to each other. Okay. And the rest, mm -hmm. look. Without touching. Ah, uh, yeah. Anya is correct. Uh, without touching to each other. Okay. Then. Uh, without touching to each other. Ah, uh, yeah. Kamling is correct. Yes, it's correct. Without touching. Okay. Uh, Amanda. Ah, uh, yeah, correct. Amanda. Without touching to each one. Okay. Then how about Yongsin? Are you managed to do it? Yes, correct. Okay, let's take a look. Huh? What's the difference between touching the leg and without touching the leg? The reason is that uh, after long, let's say you're touching each other, uh, the touching point is the pain point. Uh, so, if, let's say you choose this posture, preferably you don't touch it to each other. Okay, huh? But some they prefer to touch each other because of, due to your body shape and your posture. Okay, huh? So, this is the third option. Now we have another posture to choose is about this. Ah, let's take a look to the right. It's an auspicious posture. Auspicious posture meaning to say that you put your leg at the gate uh, between this part. See or not? Uh, there's a gate uh, in, in our, our tight, you see? Uh, uh, once, you cross, uh, once you bend your leg, there's a gap there. So you put your other foot on the gate. That they call auspicious. Let's try it out now. Auspicious. Cannot. Uh. Ratio is correct. Auspicious. Auspicious. How about the rest? Okay. One leg can go in, one leg can go uh, Yeah, yeah. Never mind. You just try it. You can do it, but at least you know the method first. Anya is not right. Anya, you can look at ratio. You should, you should put on the gap. When you bend your leg, there's a gap on your leg. So you put other leg, other foot, other gel pan. How should I put it? Gel pan. I mean, ratio. Ah, gel pan. Ah, this gel pan. I say, how many go get go the only means? Ah, Anya. Yeah, Yongsin. Do it. Ah, no, 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 no. Yongsin is not correct already. Yongsin. Ah, Yongsin. Ah, you you have to put down your. You see what ratio do? Okay. Ah, put at the gap. Ah, yeah, Amanda is correct. It's on the gap. It's correct. Ah, okay. Anya, adjust again. Yes, Yungsin is correct. Uh, now it's correct already, Yungsin. Huh? Okay, then uh, Anya, let me take a look. Not correct yet. Adjust it to the gap. Tumbling is correct already. Okay, correct already. Okay. And then maybe next time you can uh, use the hand phone. Okay, yes. Okay, it's correct already. All right. So now we go to the next position. Okay, well, by, well, the next one is the easiest one. Take a look to the left one. The left we call it as a friendship pose. Huh? Friendship pose are, are those for, for those who injure a leg before. Okay, but there's one crucial point uh, for the uh, for this uh, friendship pose, meaning to say that take a look. You must be. You don't fully sit on the chair. Maybe just sit partially 
and please don't lie on the chair. Why? Because the reason is uh, when you meditate, uh, the energy will flow along the vertebra. If let's say you lie your back on, you, you lie your back, you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't stop uh, the flowing uh, from your vertebra. Okay, huh? So uh, the flowing energy through your vertebra is so important. If you lie on it, the flowing wouldn't take place. Okay, so remember how. Huh? Anyway, if let's say you injured your leg, you can choose the friendship pose. Just sit like this. It's okay. okay huh? Is there anyone have to choose friendship pose uh, due to injury? Is there anyone? No, huh? So all can cross your leg. Huh? Okay, so uh, lastly, uh, let's take a look. Huh? Okay, uh, there, uh, this one we show you already is about the, uh, this is the Huan Si Su the joy pose we show you already. So this is one is adaptive pose, we don't use it. Huh? Adaptive pose, be, uh, basically your, your heel, huh? you have to push your heel on your Muladhara Chakra, your groin. Okay, uh, this will help in maintain chastity. So for those who want to marry and you want to have a kids, so preferably you don't use this pose, okay? Uh, never mind, just to let you know, uh, there's one pose we call adapted pose can help you uh, um, attain the clarity of the mind, okay? Then after this, let's take a look. So after the pose, okay, now we go to the back, okay? The position of your back should be straight, okay? So how to make your, uh, the back straight, let's take a look. If your back is straight, let's take a look. Uh, the streak of the back, if you try to just, uh, if you try to touch it, uh, there's a little bit curve in the back. If you try to touch it, okay. Uh, In order to sit uh, with a strict back, you need the support of the cushion. Let's take a look. This cushion, this cushion, there will be some sliding in certain degree. The sliding of the degree, you see, take a look, see or not? This is sliding, right? So, uh, meaning to say that when you put your, uh, your posterior here, it will support your vertebra, obviously. So, meaning to say that, if possible, please go to get a set of the meditation cushion. If you use a better, uh, huh? you know, it's, a, it's a better, right? It's a better. If you use the better for meditation, basically it might not be suitable because it is too soft. I will, interest, I will, I will introduce a shop for you how huh, to buy the cushion. We just mentioned that, oh, I'm a student of Earthy, learning meditation for beginner. Then I give you the discount. Okay, uh, but, but anyway, I don't charge any commission. Uh, no worry about that. Okay, uh, so you can just get a cushion there. Uh, a sitting cushion, a professional sitting cushion can help you a lot, okay? And you can try it without cushion. You will find that, uh, I mean, uh, uh, without the supportive of the, uh, of the, uh, of the cushion, uh, you might not sit well and you will get really feel tired uh, at the back, okay? Uh, so that is the one thing uh, you have to look at. Here, is there anyone have the cushion? Rachel, do you have the cushion now? No. You know, huh? Sun Chai, do you have the cushion? Okay, well, ratio your cushion is not that good because uh, I don't see a sliding here, you see or not? Oh yeah, Sun Choi, it is good. Sun Choi, can you, can you lift your cushion? Sun Choi? Yeah. Sun Choi, can you lift up your cushion? Lift up your cushion, the small one. Okay, you can't uh, because your hand can move it. Yeah, yeah. Lift it, lift it. Yes, okay, Sun Choi, uh, please sit on the cushion. Yeah, yeah, very good. Yeah, okay. So, okay. So, Sun Choi, okay. Uh, please feel, uh, okay. Uh, please feel, uh, 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 I mean, uh, uh, please get the feeling from your, uh, uh, from your back, okay. So, Sun Choi, can you now remove the cushion now? Remove it. Remove it. Okay, yes. Okay. Please face us. Uh, Sun Choi, you face us, uh, your camera face us. Okay. So, Sun Choi, can you tell us? Without cushion supporting, what do you feel? What's the difference uh, with cushion and without cushion? Can you tell us the difference? Uh, lay, lay backwards. Uh. It, it is, yeah, yeah, it's not comfortable. Ah, do you feel less yeah. supportive? Yeah, correct. Ah, mm. yeah, that is the reason why. With, with the cushion is better. Ah, that's yeah. why you have to get the Much cushion. better. 
Uh, but mm. the, the sliding cushion even better than the ratio one. A ratio, if you choose to sit on your cushion, don't fully sit on it. Just sit partial on it. Even once you sit partial, maybe uh, one third or maybe half, then your vertebra will be straight. That is the point. Okay, how you get it now? So that is about the sitting. Next, let's take a look. Huh? Okay, next, uh, we'll go to the hand side. Huh? How should you put your hand? Huh? Let's take a look. Uh, there's a few ways to put your hand. The first one is we call it Dharma Ram Mudra. Okay. Now, Dharma Ram Mudra means to say that one hand at the bottom to another hand and then thumb up together. Can you show me now? Right at the bottom or left at the bottom doesn't matter as long as your thumb to touch to each other. Okay, ratio is correct. Amanda is correct. How about the rest? Show me. Ayung Sin, you have to thumb, thumb, touch your thumb together. Yeah. Daphne, show me. Yes, it's correct. A thumb touching thumb each other. Anya is correct. Kamling, I don't see your mudra. The camera have to down a bit. Yeah, this is correct. Yes. Okay. How about Sun Chai? Sun Chai ah. Thumb to thumb together. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Please adjust your camera to see me. Okay. Huh? Well, uh, what is the significance uh, for the mudra? Huh? Uh, basically, in Buddhism, they don't bother so much with the mudra. As long as you've got one mudra, will be enough. But in Yogaism and the Taoism, uh, uh, since uh, different finger uh, signifies uh, different elements, with a different mudra, it will show a different, I mean, a different uh, healing effect. And also, uh, the, uh, they also carry some different meaning there. Huh? Uh, well, well, if we join the Qigong class, uh, we, uh, we will talk about it deeply. Here it doesn't matter as long as you've got some way to put your, your hand, that will be good enough. Okay. Uh, once you uh, touch a thumb to thumb each other, the purpose is to check whether you are sleeping or not. Because as uh, someone they sit very well, they feel comfortable, and then they fall in sleep. Once you fall in sleep, uh, basically the thumb will be, I mean, uh, it won't touch to each other. It will, it will, I mean, uh, it won't touch to each other, it will detach. I want the thumb to test you notice that you were sleeping just now. Ah, some people they confuse uh, between sleeping and meditation because both are comfortable. Okay, uh, so that is the purpose for the mudra to check uh, whether you real you, you do the real meditation or not. Okay. Well, anyway, you have other option. Let's check. So this is call it as the uh, the finger, uh, how to say it? Huh? Uh, so, uh, the lock finger uh, mudra. Huh? Lock finger mudra meaning to say that, okay, uh, uh, with your index finger and also your thumb, you touch to each other, all right? Then you put both of it on your knee, all right? So, show me whether it get correct now. Okay, huh? Okay, ratio is correct. I, I cannot exactly see your finger, all right? Ah, uh, yes, correct. Okay, ratio is correct, okay? Amanda is correct, okay? Mm, okay, uh, Devi is correct. Yeah, Yungsin is correct. Okay, yeah, Anya, I saw it. Oh, yes, correct. Mm. Suncha, let me see your mudra. Oh, yes, correct. Kamling is correct. Okay, mm, yes. Okay, please show me the camera. All right. Okay. Okay, so class, try now. Okay, try the mudra, uh, 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 try the Dhamma Ram mudra. This, try now. Okay, feel it. Then shift it to the finger lock mudra. Anybody prefer the Dharma Ram? Please put up your hand. You feel comfortable with the Dharma Ram? Yes, Sun Chai. Anybody prefer the finger lock? Please put up your hand. Ah, yes, Yung Sin, Amanda. So you see or not, you have to choose the, which one is your favorite, especially for long time sitting up. Uh, if just one posture only, then you will feel, you feel uncomfortable. So you must, you must have more method to shift, to change, right? Okay, next, let's take a look. It's about what? Uh, so after the finger, and then we'll go to the, the position of your neck. Uh, uh, basically, uh, you have to relax your neck. Okay. Then number six is your eye. Uh, uh, class, basically, you choose to close your eye. Okay. If let's say you, you feel dot soft, then you open your eye. If you don't feel dot soft, please open your eye. Uh, no, close your eye. Okay. Uh. Then lastly, it's about what? Let's take a look. Uh. 
It's about your mouth and your tongue. Okay, how? Uh, plus, basically, you have to close your mouth. Okay, close your mouth. Don't open your mouth. And then you have to tongue up. You you can choose to either tongue up or not. Do you understand what does it mean tongue up? Meaning to say you push your tongue on your palate. You can try it now. Uh, push your tongue on your palate. Okay, how? Okay. Or you don't do it also okay. Huh? <laughs> Well, I think whether your thumb out or not, I can I cannot check, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. What is the purpose for the thumb? Uh, for for the tongue up, uh, huh? Let's take a look. It's about the chi circulation. Let's take a look. According to the Taoism, uh, you see. Okay. Let's take a look uh, 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 to your tablet, uh, to the screen. You will see that uh, there's a one red dot is moving, right? So the red dot is the move is moving. It show a complete of the small circle. We call it a xiao zhou tian. Uh, it's a small uh, circle, uh. and basically, uh, it's, it's, become, it's become from the Ren meridian. The Ren meridian, meridian meaning to say, is on is is at the bottom of our abdomen part. It's flow up here, but it stop here. Why? Because the tongue is due to the tongue. And then the second flow we call it as the uh, uh, governing, uh, governing meridian. It begins also from your abdomen, but it cross your groin and at the back, go up here and here. Okay. Uh, if let's say your tongue up together, then it will join up together. Uh, but anyway, for the beginner, you don't need to worry about this because after long term meditate, after long term meditation, once the energy starts flowing, uh, your tongue will automatically tongue up. Uh, if at that time, just naturally follow it. Now, if you feel you don't want, it doesn't matter. If you wish, you can tongue up. Uh, once uh, the tongue up process automatically uh, come together with, with, uh, with the streak of the vertebra, you will enjoy, you will feel uh, you're getting healthier. It's due to the energy function. Uh, it's due to the energy function. Okay. Well, anyway, if let's say uh, there's a sliver, uh, uh, there's excretion of saliva in your mouth. So, what should you do? Yes, definitely. What should you do if there's a saliva excretion? Devi, what will you do? You just like swallow it or? Yes, no yeah. more, no more. Don't flow it out. If you make yeah. it with the flow of the saliva, I will snap the picture and then put on the Facebook to show the whole world. Huh? Because you are the only one who meditate with the flowing of the saliva and the mouth. <laughs> okay, get it? Uh, so don't just uh, uh, swallow it. If your saliva uh, turns sweet, uh, huh? okay, meaning to say that you are in a good meditative state. Mm. Because uh, your body itself create the medicine. The saliva itself is a good medicine for you. Get it? Okay. Huh? So now try to sit with the posture. Okay, first, cross your leg. Okay, second, straight your back. Okay, huh? third, choose a mudra, perform a mudra. Okay, relax your shoulder as if it doesn't exist. Okay, then tongue up or just be natural. Close your eye. Okay, so follow my instruction. Relax, meaning to say without using energy. Breathe, relax. Relax your forehead. Relax your cheek, relax your shoulder, relax your chest, relax your abdomen, relax your waist, relax your thigh, relax your hand, and relax okay, your shoulder, uh, uh, your leg. Just try to relax the whole body. Okay, please open your, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, please open your eye. Okay, so that is the position. How you know how the sitting position? Okay, class. Now I want to give you a rope to tie your mind because our mind just like a mon monkey wandering. Huh? So how do we tie our mind? Let's take a look. This is very important step. Make sure you don't make any mistake here. Okay, class. Okay, once ah, uh, okay, take a look. The blue dot meaning to say that we call it as a touching point. Okay, and uh, the red arrow, meaning to say, is the flow of the, of the of our breath, of our breath. Okay, once uh, uh, the uh, the okay, when there's a flow of the breath inside our nose, they will touch an area 
which is in the blue top. And the breath also, when the air flow out, it will touch the same point also. Okay. And the sensation is like this. Let's take a look. You try to blow on your, on, on your hand. Do you feel the sensation? Mm. So this is the feeling, the air touching the, our skin, the sensation will be about, is around at, at, at your upper lip. Uh, or maybe just around your nose, okay? Huh? Please get the point. The point where, where, where I mean, the point which is uh, the flow of the air in will rub the area, and once the air flow out, also rub the same area. It's like that, you see? And the air pass out, and the air pass, uh, uh, flow in, they will rub the same area. Please get me the area now, okay? Please close your eye. Pay attention to your upper lips and lower nose, or around the nose. Feel the passage of the, the air in and out. It will, it will touch the same point and same part. When you get it, grab your hand. Uh, put up your hand if you feel the touching point. Yes, Yongxin, one. Beth B, two. Rachel, Kamling, Yi, uh, Amanda. Anya, Sun Chai, is correct. Okay. okay, so let's take a look now. Okay, huh? Once you are able to feel the touching point, the coin could be a small dog. The point could be the big area or around the nose, it doesn't matter. Is there anyone get a small dot? Please put up your hand. Small dot. Okay, Devi. Yongsik. Who is the big area? Put up your hand. Big area. Rachel. Sun Choi. Amanda. Anya. Kamlik. Uh, yes, okay. Make sure you get it correct here. Because if you make a mistake, uh, then the whole thing will be wrong already. Okay. Uh. So now what you do is, please pay attention at your touching point. Okay, once you pay attention in your touching point, okay, then watch your breath in, out, in, out. Yeah, that, what are you supposed to do now? Okay, remember, just stay at here. Don't follow the breath go out from the body, then don't follow the breath go into the body. At the touching point, you just see it and you see the breath in, out, in, out. Once you very clear that, mindful that your breath in, out, meaning to say you are living in the present moment. But once your mind starts to wondering future and the past, so you are not at the present moment. So you just have to bring back yourself to the present moment and just knowing it in, out, in, out. That's all. Start now. Okay, huh? until I call you. So, so. Sit in the seventh position, close your eye, roughly relax the whole body. So pay attention to the touching point and start now. Be mindful on the breath.
open your eyes slowly, shake your body from left to right, and then shake your body from front to back. Then you can start to rub your hand. Shake it. Use your thumb to massage the eyelid. Wash your face. Hit your ear. The back of your head. The neck. Then cross your hand, massage the sh sh uh, shoulder, the hand. When it comes to hand to hand, you rub again and shake it again. Put both your hand at the abdomen. Rotation, rotate on right side five times. Then anti-clockwise. Five times or so. Then from here, crawl your hand at the waist, at the back of the vertebra, and then massage your leg, your knee to the bottom. Plus, you have meditated about two minutes. If you feel satisfied with your performance, meaning to say that you are you can you can quite mindful, you are very clear in out in out, probably your hand. Anyone satisfied with their own performance? Amanda, ratio, Yung Sin. Okay, so the rest is just half half correct, half half right. Kamling, it's just half half. Sometimes, but, uh, uh, right. Got thoughts come in. Ah, uh. uh, you got thoughts come in. Yes, uh. maybe same right, half half uh. right. Okay, Sun Choi, it's just correct. Sun Choi, half half right. Sometimes you think, uh, uh, sometimes you can meditate well, but sometimes your mind is outside, right? Yeah, yeah, correct. And, and yeah, half, half also correct. Correct, huh? Okay, now take a look. Huh? For those who is half, half, you have to downgrade yourself to counting. The rest of you, just maintain. How to count? Let's take a look. Okay, for those who half, half, okay, same, you pay attention, uh, okay, at, at, your count, uh, at the touching point and watch the breath in, out, count one. In, out, count two. Count until ten. Then recount again, okay? In, out, count one. In, out, count two. Count until to ten. If you, if you, if you count, at, if you forget in the middle, recount again. If you overcount, count again, okay? So now start. For those who meditate well, just keep on without counting. Then the rest, half, half, you have to count now. Okay, now, please. Okay, the seven position of sitting, cross your leg. Okay, hand back, stretch your vertebra, close your eye. So just scan the body, make it relax, make sure it just relax. Now pay attention to the touching boy. You can start counting or without counting now. Until I call you.
Open your eyes slowly. Then shake your body from left to right. And then from front to back. And you can start massage your whole body by yourself. Now. Uh, Sun Choi basically uh, is about the abdomen area. Uh, not that big, okay? Just around the abdomen area. Huh? Uh, in our belly, uh, Sun Choi, our belly. <laughs> Just around the belly. Uh, there's one chakra, we call it as a navy chakra. It's, it's around the belly. That, uh, not that big, the area. Huh? Okay. okay, class, you set for two minutes. Okay, should I know? For those who the, do the counting, you feel good, better than without counting? Put up your hand. The counting is better. Sun Choi, okay. Kam Ling, definitely. Yeah, better. Okay, better, huh? Devi feel better. Okay, Sun Choi feel better. Anya, better. Okay, so class, basically now you all got the method already. Tell me who do the meditation without counting? Put up your hand. Without the counting. Uh, okay, Amanda. Ratio, without counting. Yung Sing, you are without counting, right? Ah, let me know. Let me know. You you must you must choose one method. Yeah, Yung Sing. Then okay. Then the rest is counting. Am I right? Okay, huh? So everybody got your method. Okay, huh? So class, uh, basically, uh, try to meditate from morning and the night. So morning after the breakfast. Oh no no no. Uh, after brushing before the breakfast. I do a sitting, maybe five to ten minutes, okay? And the night time, be before you go to the bed, do the sitting, also five to ten minutes. If you feel good, you can proceed to 15 minutes, you can set the alarm. So this is your homework, okay? Any questions? Any questions? The rub rubbing abdomen is five times, five rounds. Uh, clockwise and declockwise, okay? What are questions? I have a question. When I sit down, after a while, like my legs, my feet go numb a bit. It's like pins and needles. So then, is it okay if I like switch position between yes. when yeah. I'm meditating? Or? Yeah, it is okay you switch your position, okay? Huh? Uh, because uh, once you feel numb and pain, you can't concentrate anymore. But anyway, if let's say five minutes, yeah. thing, uh, you keep on shift your leg uh, for 10 times, so you're not meditating on on breathing, you are meditating on shifting your posture already. Got it? Okay, huh? don't over shift. But basically, after some yoga class and also some qigong class, uh, there will be improvement in your pain. Okay, huh? any questions? Some more? Uh, yeah, Yong Sing. The, the breath in here is not so sensitive when compared to when you exhale, you breathe out. Okay, it, the, it, focus, it, the feeling is more. Oh, uh, yeah, I got it. Okay. Less. Uh, it doesn't matter. Just keep on with it. Okay, as long as you know the breath in out. Okay, one. Uh, 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 it is not that clear. Uh, uh, we need more times uh, to prove that uh, you can be sensitive for both of it. Okay, just keep on with me. Doesn't matter. Okay. Any questions? Just now when I go second round counting, I feel like my mind is going to doze off. Is it ah. going to sleep or going to? If let's say you feel tired, you must have enough rest before meditate. Always remember, mm -hmm. ah, rest enough before me. Uh -huh. Or you can change the posture to standing, okay? A standing also can do the meditation, same only, okay? What else, questions? Okay, if without any question, so for the first week, you have to do the meditation first, all right? Okay, this Friday, you still, you still, uh, 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 you, you don't join for the Meridian Qigong class yet. So, after, uh, when I met you in the second time, 
after the second lesson, since every day you do the meditate, or maybe once a while you, you still do it, then you can join the Friday or Sunday meridian class. Because uh, I, want, I want to let you see uh, how effective the meridian help you in meditating. Ah, so you must have experience in meditation first, then you can compare and you will understand how well the meridian and all the chakra spinning does help you. Okay, get it? Okay. Okay, okay so, so now I'm going to transfer the merit. Okay, please palms together and follow me. Okay, uh, you can on your mic for transferring the merit. Okay, you can on your mic. Okay. Okay. I wish to inculcate. Wish to inculcate. Wish to inculcate. More favorable consciousness. More favorable consciousness. Through transferring merit. To transferring merit. To COVID nineteen. To COVID nineteen. May it end soon. To end soon. May our economy recover soon. May our economy recover soon. So Rachel, you will act as a monitor. So you will lead them to pay three respect to me after the class because I'm the teacher, okay, as a Buddhist teacher, how, how to pay respect, how, the way is like this. Your palms together, okay. Then put at the top of the Sasrana Chakra. Mm. Then mm. put the truth Chakra at your throat. Then go to your, this here, in the heart Chakra, okay. So meaning to say from the top of the head, then go to the throat. Then go to the heart, okay? So Rachel, please guide them, okay? So Rachel, you will say, uh, thank you teaching from the master. We show three respect uh, to master, okay? Rachel. Thank you teaching to the masters. Let's show three respect to the master. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Okay, class, bye-bye. See you next week. Okay, bye-bye. Sadhu, -bye. master.